60% of home fire deaths happen in homes without a smoke detector. That's according to the National Fire Protection Association. To help protect residents, Broken Arrow is offering smoke detectors to residents that need one. Since 2021, its fire department has installed 225 smoke detectors and replaced batteries in 115 others. Since October is National Fire Safety Month, 2 News Oklahoma problem solver Pete Knutson shows us other ways consumer reports say you can keep you and your family safe. These sounds are proven to save lives and reduce injuries from smoke and fire. Consumer Report says it starts with a safety audit at home, starting in the kitchen. Cooking remains the leading cause of home fire and injuries, and it can be as easy as walking away from the stove and forgetting. To prevent a kitchen blaze, remember this simple rule. Stand by your pan. If your cookware does catch fire, move it off the stove if you can and cover it with a lid. For oven fires, keep the oven door closed, turn it off, and be sure to have a fire extinguisher nearby in case the fire gets out of hand. And part of your fire safety plan should include an extinguisher on every level of your home. Winter weather outside can present fire hazards inside. Think about candles, fireplaces with unclean chimneys, and space heaters. The vast majority of home heating deaths last year were the result of portable or stationary space heaters. We recommend looking for a model that turns off automatically if it gets too hot and which has a tip over switch. And finally, don't forget about potential fires outside of your home. Many parts of the country are experiencing hotter and drier weather due to climate change, leaving homes susceptible to the risks of wildfires. The risk goes well beyond wildfires. Backyard campfires and fire pits also pose risks, especially in drier weather. Before building a fire, check to make sure there are no local burn bans and always have an extinguisher and a garden hose at the ready. If you're in an area that's at risk for wildfires, make sure the five foot area around your home is free and clear of mulch and other combustible materials. Pete Knutson, Two News Oklahoma, Problem Solvers. Fatal house fires are pretty rare here in Tulsa. We checked in with the Tulsa Fire Department. The most recent data available shows between 2014 and early July 2021, only three years had more than 10 deaths. 2018 was the deadliest, with 14 people losing their lives in fires.